At last, weary and feeling finally defeated, he sat on a step below the level of the passage floor and bowed his head into his hands. It was quiet, horribly quiet. The torch that was already burning low when he arrived sputtered and went out, and he felt the darkness cover him like a tide. And then softly, to his own surprise, there, at the vain end of his long journey and his grief, moved by what thought in his heart he could not tell, Sam began to sing. His voice sounded thin and quavering in the cold, dark tower, the voice of a forlorn and weary hobbit that no listening orc could possibly mistake for the clear song of an elven lord. He murmured old, childish tunes out of the Shire, and snatches of Mr. Bilbo's rhymes that came into his mind like fleeting glimpses of the country in his home. And then suddenly, new strength rose in him, and his voice rang out, while words of his own came unbidden to fit the simple tune. In western lands beneath the sun, the flowers may rise in spring. The trees may bud, the waters run, the merry finches sing. Or there may be tis cloudless night and swaying beaches bare, the elven stars as jewels white amid their branching hair. Through there journeys end I lie, in darkness buried deep, beyond all towers strong and high, beyond all mountains deep. Above all shadows rides the sun, and stars forever dwell. I will not say the day is done, nor bid the stars farewell.